Hi friend, this is Dr. Apoor Mehra. And this is Dr. Govind Rai Gahag. So this video talks about how to prepare for the third prof or the pre-final year or the final year part one. I belong to the first batch in which uh, this system was started. And in India, we got this system very popular that there'll be only three uh, subjects and one year, ENT of the PSM. I went to my seniors who had uh, one and a half year of final year with all the subjects into it. So I asked them, uh, sir, how should we study in this year? <clears throat> they said, go to Goa and then uh, come back, organize some cricket matches, again go to Goa. And after the end, last two months or three months, give one month to PSM, two weeks to Aftha, one week to ENT, and that's it. Give your exams and go to go. It was called as a honeymoon year of MBBS. But over time, things have changed. Sir. So this is the year in which you have plenty of time, uh, not only for studies, but also to do extracurricular activities, as well as to prepare for PG entrance. So our advice will be keep around two to three months for this prof and the rest of the time to do some of the things from the uh, final prof that is medicine, surgery, etc. So like all these uh, subjects uh, in this year, you need to study the textbooks. Uh, for ENT, the standard textbook followed almost everywhere is PL Dhingra. Uh, so you can keep reference books, but uh, the main book should be PL Dhingra. Uh, for ophthalmology, depending upon the college, whichever book is being followed there, it may be Parson, it may be Khurana. You need to follow that. And for PSM, uh, two books which are uh, indispensable, these are Dr. Vivek Jan book and Dr. Park. So these are the books you need to follow. Uh, I will advise that uh, you should finish these books along with the MCQs, everything about these subjects, three subjects, in a span of two to three months. What do you say? Mm -hmm. If they are able to do that properly, look, trying to do too much, you must not harm this prof. Your aim should be that make these subjects very strong. So that over next two years, you will have to give minimum time to these subjects. Also, I want to stress upon the fact, PSM is the largest subject of this prof. Also, PSM will be 10% of every paper in entrance exam that you give for. So learn PSM well. There are very few colleges in India where the exam is at the end of two years, like in Ames. But majority of the places, the final year part one exam is separate and final year part two is separate. Your aim is to target that exam well and score very good marks in it. If there is any year in which you can prepare medicine and surgery well, it is not the final year part two. It is this year where you can have lay the foundation. What do you say sir, about medicine and surgery in this process? Uh, so I want to tell you a small story regarding this. Uh, there was a student of uh, this mini prof exam and uh, he liked a girl in his batch. Uh, so he wrote a letter. Uh, so first of all, uh, he wrote a letter and uh, kept it, uh, give it to her. And uh, she didn't read and uh, and returned his Harrison. Hmm. Then he was very disappointed that he didn't answer any questions. So he probably had to answer it. So the days passed away. And uh, after the internship, uh, he started preparing for PG entrance. And uh, then he started open his Harrison. And there it was written, I agree. Mm -hmm. yeah? <laughs> so, so the moral of the story is, Harrison should not be studied during internship. It is during the mini prof. Second and the girl was married by the time you got yes. the, the Harrison. <laughs> and, uh, so, your approach, sir. So, Read Harrison early. Uh, yes. Uh, important things to keep in mind uh, number one, for two to three months, as we already told, for this prof, plus before any uh, terminal exam or for any test, you need to study obviously those subjects. Yeah, yeah. So before terminal exam, give around 15 to 20 days. So that means if there are, there are two terminal exam, one sent up, one prof, so that will make around another two months. So two months plus two months, that means four to five months for this prof. Plus attend clinical postings, which are very important, not only for ENT, Optha, but also for medicine, surgery, orthopedics, whatever posting you are going in. So at in this year, try to complete your Hutchison in the 
मेडिसिन एंड इन दी सर्जरी ऑल्सो विच एवर बुक्स यू आर फॉलोइंग फॉर क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट दोज एंड प्लस मिनिमम टू यूनिट्स ऑफ मेडिसिन एंड टू यूनिट्स ऑफ सर्जरी मस्ट बी कम्प्लीटेड दिस ईयर फ्रॉम दी टेक्सट बुक्स along with mcqs so two units of medicine any two units you can choose it may be cardiovascular system may be cns may be respiratory system any two units and plus two units of surgery among those two one must be git because yeah. git is a bigger unit so if you complete that in the final year the load will be much lesser so complete these along with the mcqs also videos mcqs and th textbook all these should be completed and the aim is that if you prepare these things well you give minimum time the next two or two yes and if you have some more time left although what sir has said i think that's more than enough but if you have some more time left do a little bit of pediatrics along with medicine yes that can be very very useful you should be carrying your books to the ward keep seeing the things which your seniors your pgs and srs are showing in the opds or the wards or the emergencies come back develop a habit of reading at the same day as we all know the future you will have next exams you have more and more of clinical exams images and videos the observation of the students for last 2 to 3 years is they are coming from the routine things which are being done and followed in the wards so this is the time start getting aware of things happening around you commonly done things like cannulas fully the tubes the instruments so that when you see them in the exam it doesn't come as a surprise you're not startled you're not perplexed develop common things it is also a year in the life of a medical student where he should learn to ask more and more why more inquisitiveness more questions by that you will develop a habit of questioning everything and that's how your learning will be improved sir definitely so most important is to improve your observational skills you go to the ward do not uh, just go the see the file and come back so important thing is see the patient see which tube is inserted in his nose uh, that is called rails tube and if catheter is put what is that catheter is known as what number that is what is the different color and all these things you need to be aware of and along with that uh, you need to uh, study that Uh, disease whichever patient you are seeing study that particularly same day if possible not then minimum that week only so it's about a year in which you can develop a habit yeah of sincerity a discipline and try to value this year it is just like the middle overs when you have the initial super overs in the end you do slog so it's the second power play yeah so this is like a second power play if executed well it can get good results in the final prof the next exams and finally get your good rank during the entrance exams definitely so, so more importantly you can be a very very good physician later on right so it's just like from the saying a good honeymoon will get you a good start in the life and this year is the honeymoon of mbbs all the very best this is dr apoor mera all the very best this is dr govind raikar thank you